Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the front brakes on a Dodge Neon, so let's go ahead and get started. To complete this, the only thing you're gonna need, for this here, I'm just gonna use just a standard um, lug nut wrench that comes with the Neon, but if not, you can use a three quarter inch socket if you wanted to use an impact wrench or a breaker bar. Next, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet to remove the actual caliper. Then you'll need your replacement brakes. You can get these at various places. Um, I'll put along the bottom uh, where I got these. I got them online. They were actually a set with rotors, but I'll put the total price along the bottom. And then you're going to need a large six inch C-clamp so we can compress the caliper piston to put the new brakes on. So this is all we need to get started. So let's go ahead and get the, the wheel off so that way we can go ahead and get this done. Just to show what we're looking at here, this right here is your caliper, which the brake pads are inside of that. This is your caliper bracket. Here you have your rotor. We're gonna be swapping that out in the upcoming videos, so just keep, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up soon. Then we also have your wheel studs here. You can see one's broken on this vehicle. We're gonna be changing that out also in the future. I'll post that as well, but we're not gonna get into that right now. Then here's your axle and your axle nut. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Let's go ahead and remove these. That's held on by two 10 millimeter bolts here on the back. I'll show you where they are, and then that'll release this caliper so we can then swap out the brake pads. Coming along the back here of the caliper, you can see right here, this is one of the 10 millimeters on top. There's another one right here on the bottom, right here. These are the two that we're gonna be removing. We're gonna go ahead and take those off. We're using the 10 millimeter socket and the ratchet, and then that'll then loosen this caliper so we can pull this off. You can see here the brake pads in there, and I'm sure it's gonna be quite interesting to see what they look like when we pull that out. You can see the rotor looks bad as well. Like I said, next video I'm gonna be posting in the, in the next couple of weeks is gonna be how to replace the rotor. So keep an eye for that video. Just do that by hand now. Go ahead, there we go. Should be able to get it by hand as well. Twist that out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this caliper. I'm gonna pull it. This one's on here a while. Pretty tight. I'm gonna pull this. You wanna pull it from the top because it kind of clips down in the bottom. This one's on there pretty good. There we go. Just push it. That pulls out and then down low. Now it'll slide out. There we are. Remove that. Here's the brake pads here. You can see how it's clipped in right here. So I'm gonna just take a little wrench or a flathead screwdriver. Just to lift it. Pull that corner off. There you go. Comes right up and then just do it on this side too. That one's off. And then this inner one, just pull it and it just clips inside of the piston, pops right out. Here's the old brake pads here. Compared to the new, you can see a huge difference. These are the ones that go on the, the outer part of the rotor. Look at that. These were completely shot. And then these are the inner ones, so you can see the difference there. Look at that. So, let's go ahead and get these new ones on, put it back together so we can wrap this up. Before we can put the new brake pads on, you can see here that this caliper piston is completely extended out, so we need to push that back in flush. That's where this C-clamp's gotta come in handy. What I do is, I like to take one of the old brakes, just use it as leverage, just set it in there. Take a C-clamp. Go ahead and get that positioned on here. So basically, you want it like this. So you're getting leverage back here, and then the C-clamp itself is, is clipping over that brake. And then what we'll do 
is we will just keep turning it and you'll see the piston right there getting compressed until it goes all the way down and then the new brake pad will be able to go in. Take it off, and you can see there it is, completely pushed in, so now the new brake pads can go right in. Now that we've compressed the piston, we're ready to put the brake in. So on this one here, you have this clip that goes inside. So we'll push this here, we want to just center it there, and just, there you go, slide that in. Then on the outer one, it needs to clip here, so you've got these little clips that go there. So we'll just come in from the top, push it down. And there you go. Everything is good to go. Now that these are on, we're ready to put the caliper back on. So we're going to slide it over the rotor. Remember, you want to go ahead and put the bottom in first so it locks, and then the top will then slide right in the place. Okay, everything is all nice and tight, and I'll show you where these little clips on the brake pads lack on the caliper bracket. Then we're ready to put the two 10 millimeters back in and wrap this up. You see how the clips here on the brake pads, they clip right here, and then on the bottom, we have one there and one here, same thing. So once those are locked in place, you know it's good to go. And then if you come here, you'll see that the caliper bracket and the caliper line up. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. So we're ready to go ahead and put the bolts back in and call this a day. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to replace the front brakes on a Dodge Neon. At this point, you would just go ahead and just put the lug nuts back on, drop the car, and you're good to go. I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.